All right, everyone. Um, in this module, we are going to be talking about measuring mass and taking a close look at the essential question of what is mass and how uh, can we measure mass. So throughout this unit, we're going to be defining and distinguishing between uh, mass, matter, and weight. Uh, we'll be identifying the origin of our definition of mass, so how did we come up with the one kilogram. And you'll have the opportunity to operate past and present devices used for measuring mass. And we're doing all of these things up here in order to accurately measure an object's mass and differentiate between its uh, mass and weight. So, so what is mass? Mass is defined as the amount of matter contained within an object. So how much stuff is in an object? Because matter is just about everything. Okay, so anything that occupies space and possesses mass has matter. Um, one thing that does not have mass is space itself. So the space around us, uh, is, it's important to note that it does not have mass. Uh, so ultimately, mass is a measurement or a way to quantify the amount of matter. So where does our origin of mass come from? Well, we originally defined the kilogram in 1795 as the mass of one liter of water. And in 1799, it became the standard of mass uh, measuring as a base scientific unit. Uh, nowadays, we define a kilogram um, with the same amount of mass, but instead of defining it as the amount, the mass of one liter of water, uh, we define it using measurements of the second and uh, meter which is done using some advanced physics and some advanced kind of technical machinery. But it's still the same amount of, of mass. So how do we measure mass? So in the past, we have typically used an equal arm balance. And this would have been used where you would be, the object you are measuring is compared with um, Count known counterweights so that and you can add your counterweights until your equal arm balance is balanced. And once it's balanced, you add up the amount of weights that you added um, onto one side, and then that would be the weight of your object on the other side. And this is done similarly with the triple beam balance, although instead of using um, kind of multiple weights to compare an object, you have a set of three movable masses <clears throat> that you slide uh, left to the left and right to balance your scale. And you'll have an opportunity to play with some of these. So nowadays we use what's called a digital or analog scale. And this is calibrated to a high degree of accuracy uh, to Earth, with Earth's gravity and there are no counterweights that are required and it reads a very clear number on a on a display. So mass and weight are two very similar yet different concepts. And if we remember, mass is how much matter an object contains, so it's a measurement of how much matter versus weight, how much you weigh, is the force exerted on a mass by gravity. So mass is a constant for an object and does not change with location. Okay, so you are going to be 50 kilograms on the moon and 50 kilograms on the earth. Weight is not constant, it changes from place to place. So you might weigh 110 pounds on the moon, but your weight, or sorry, 110 pounds on the earth, but your weight on the moon will only be 18 pounds. Okay, and that is gonna wrap it up.